Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Shomus Biology. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about the glycolysis with a simple trick and mnemonic. The mnemonic I'm going to use is very easy to remember and you'll never ever forget glycolysis in your life. My, my words and we are going to understand that under 5 minutes. So let the clock begin and let us start discussing about glycolysis. And uh, here I'm going to take a color. See here what I want is to meet my friend Anupam. Anupam is a student but he's a superhero. So superhero to many students like you. So just remember this Anupam is a superhero and print this image in your mind. So for that what we are going to now use as a mnemonic starting with this Anupam to hero ho aap. Basically Anupam to hero ho aap. That is the mnemonic that you need to remember. Once you know this you'll understand few things. For example we'll move to this Anupam to hero ho aap. And in this case what we are seeing is AN. So the capital letters whatever thing we are writing here is in the capital letters are the initiation or the alphabets are the initiator of the products. Okay, so A N and there's a P in capital, hero ho aap is in the capital. So let's move on. So Anupam A goes for ATP, N is for NADH, PAMP is for pyruvate. So these are all the products of glycolysis. And it says Anupam 2. So basically we say Anupam to, so we convert it to 2. So A for ATP, P, uh, N for NADH, P for pyruvate and then what we have all of these are produced two units as a result of the glycolysis so the first important step is done anupam to then we go to hero ho a so the second part hero h for h2o ho h h plus and ap a for adp p is for pi okay so phosphate inorganic phosphate normally so these are the components i mean the products of glycolysis ATP, NADH, pyruvate, all two units and H2O, H+, ADP and PI as a result that is from hero ho aap. So if you remember Anupam to hero ho aap and this image, you will clearly know the products of glycolysis. Now I'll move to the next part. Uh, so these are all uh, the glycolysis products listed as per this. So two ATP, two NADH, two pyruvates, two water, two proton, two electrons, two ADP, two PI all are of two units each let's move to next important point of glycolysis and this is even more important the intermediates of glycolysis very very important point right what are the intermediates of glycolysis for that we are going to use a mnemonic but before that i want you to see this image visualize this image two friends roaming around old city old locations in Delhi and this is something of that brainchild the idea of the brainchild okay so this is something is there so now we are going to see uh, what are the uh, steps what is the mnemonic the mnemonic is Gogol or Firoz Farar hua Dilli ghumte hue Bipin ko pukaro phone pe this is a long lengthy sentence but still mark my word that if you understand this if you pictureize this you will easily remember this and you can easily write the intermediates of glycolysis. Gogol or Firoz, these are two friends. Farar hue, Delhi ghumte hue, bipin ko pukaro phone pe. So once they are lost in the old cities in Delhi, call bipin over phone. That is what uh, it's all about. But you need to remember this particular lines in order to understand and remember the steps of glycolysis. Why? Uh, so let, let, let me see the intermediates here. So this is how we can write. Uh, there are two components to it. One is Gogol or Firoz Farar Hua Dilli Ghumte Hue. This is the first step. Second one is the Bipin Ko Pukaro phone. We will see that in the next uh, slide. So Gogol or Firoz Farar Hua Dilli Ghumte Hue. Again you can see Gogol or Firoz Farar Hua comma Dilli Ghumte Hue. So again you can see that I emphasize some of the alphabets with capital letters which are the starting letters of the intermediates of glycolysis. So the next one is Bipin Ko Pukaro, phone pay, fine. Now move on to this, Gogol, G-O-G. -G. So Gogol G for glucose, another G for glucose 6-phosphate. The first two intermediates. In that order, glucose, then glucose 6-phosphate. Then comes Firoz, fructose 6-phosphate, F for fructose 6-phosphate. Then comes Farar, F for fructose 1,6-bisphosphate. Then 
Delhi. Delhi, so I write it as Delhi. So it is Di dihydroxyacetone phosphate or DHAP. Okay. Then we move on to the next Ghumte. Glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate known as G3P. Next, Bipin. So the next line, Bipin ko pukaro phone pe. Bipin BI is a bisphosphate. Remember this, bisphosphate. 1, 3 bisphosphoglycerate. Okay. Then come Pukaro P phosphoglycerate. 3 phosphoglycerate first, then 2 phosphoglycerate. So phosphoglycerate. Phone pH for phosphoenol pyruvate. pH and pH starting point for phosphoenol pyruvate, also known as PEP. And ultimately, P for pyruvate, the end product of glycolysis. I mean, although we are taking help of all this mnemonic to understand, but I believe that you need to know at least the starting and end product of glycolysis. We know the glycolysis begins with glucose and ends in pyruvate. And this is clearly visible in this particular mnemonic. If you remember, Gogol or Firoz Farar hua Dilli ghumte hue, bipin ko pukaro phone pe. Then you can clearly understand and remember the intermediates of glycolysis. Remember this particular image. This image should be there in your mind when you think of this process. Now the last point of glycolysis that we are going to discuss are the enzymes that are involved in glycolysis. You know there are many mnemonics out there. They might only talk about few portions. But here we are covering everything related to glycolysis. So enzyme list that we are going to talk now because we know the intermediates. And once you know the intermediates, very important that first you know the intermediates because the enzymes are involved in converting one intermediate to the other. Okay. So here we will be moving on. So this is another image that I want you to visualize. This is a very common image of our daily street food where lots of pakoras are out there, right? Pakora, jalebi, ye sab bikta hai. Jaga pe dekho, cauliflower, pakora ho gaya, alu tiki ho gaya, ye sab bikta hai, right? Ek aisa namkeen ki dukaan hai, jaha pe sab bikra hai. So there is a, you know, snack store where all these things are selling. So basically, if you understand this image, we are going to see this. This person's name is Hari Prasad, okay? Hari Prasad ne pakaya alu tiki aur gobi ki pakora saath mein hai Pepsi. This is the mnemonic for understanding the enzymes involved in glycolysis. Hari Prasad ne pakaya alu tiki aur gobi ki pakora saath mein hai Pepsi. Okay? So if you know this, you can easily understand the enzymes involved in glycolysis. That's what we are going to say. But again, we are rearranging this sentence. Again, as per our rule that the capital alphabet means starting point of the alphabet of the enzyme names right so we'll start with h a hurry so we'll move on to this side now so we have hurry uh hurry h for hexokinase the very first enzyme converting glucose into glucose 6 phosphate hexokinase then we have prasad p for phosphoglucose isomerase right converting glucose 6 phosphate into fructose 6 phosphate then comes the third one Pakaya, P for phosphofructokinase, converting what? Again, a kinase means what? Converting fructose 1-phosphate into fructose 1,6-bisphosphate. Then, next one is alu, right? Alu A, AL for aldolase. Okay, the next enzyme, Tiki, TI, triose phosphate isomerase, right? TI, triose phosphate isomerase. Next one is Gobi, right? G. Glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate dehydrogenase. Okay? Glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate dehydrogenase. Then after Gobi, we have Pakoda Pa. So Pakoda P for phosphoglycerate kinase. Okay? And then next one again, Saath Me M. Okay? M, M is for mutase. Remember that. So in this case, we are not only focusing on phosphoglycerate because phosphoglycerate is already there in Pakoda. So P for phosphoglycerate kinase. The next one is ME for mutase. M for mutase. So phosphoglycerate mutase is the enzyme. And then lastly what we have. Uh, so mutase this both M and E both are important. M for mutase and E for enolase. Okay. ME both are capital. That's why M for mutase and E for enolase. And lastly we have Pepsi. Right. Let's move on to here. Pepsi pyruvate kinase. And it's easy. Pepsi K. The short form of pyruvate kinase is Pepsi K. So that is Pepsi. So we are ending with Pepsi K, pyruvate kinase, starting with Hari Prasad H for hexokinase. And we are moving from hexokinase, phosphoglucose isomerase, phosphofructokinase, aldolase, 
trans phosphate isomerase glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate dehydrogenase phosphoglycerate kinase phosphoglycerate mutase enolase pyruvate kinase see all these things all those things very complicated but it's not actually complicated you can easily remember that and along with that there is something that i want to share as a tip that during this processes there are intermediates with multiple say first intermediate has one phosphate the next one has two phosphates so obviously a phosphate group is attached so the enzyme involved there should be a kinase so these are something that you can put your brain to and can easily remember the process and can understand it you should never ever forget glycolysis in your life so that's all about glycolysis under 10 minutes everything that you need to understand about glycolysis in 10 minutes right i believe you have a clear understanding of this if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and there will be a series of videos regarding mnemonics those will be really helpful for you and for your exam preparation so stay tuned and watch the lectures thank you bye